A couple of years ago, you could literally hit sneaker gold at discount retailers like Burlington Coat Factory, Marshalls, and Ross. And if you've been subscribed to our channel long enough, then you probably know that at one point, chasing rare sneakers at Ross was the main subject of our videos. My brother Nacho and I would go store to store, sometimes up to 10 stores even, just looking to see what kind of sneakers we could find and entertain you guys with. Well, we set out once again. We kept getting requests for another Ross Finds video and man, the glory days are long gone. And it got me thinking, whatever happened to finding dope sneakers at Ross? What happened to the thrill of the hunt? Let me tell you something. These Asics, who knows? Maybe they're comfy. Maybe they're a really high-end sneaker. But I'll tell you what. You see that price tag right there? That's a no-go for me. This is it. This is this is the hottest thing out here. What has happened to Ross? What can we do? Sneakers were in abundance over here. And now, $69 Asics. Plain Jane A6. This is it. This was out here. The rise and fall? The rise and fall. The demise. The demise. The demise. Little Russian. Look at this. Come on, bro. This isn't even a sole. This is like plastic molded pumas. But like a couple of years ago, we, we would we would bro, go here. A couple of years ago, we was doing it big. We was out here just, we would just pop in, just be like, ah. Ah. And now? And now, look at, this is what I'm grabbing now. Look at, look at. Let me do a black grab, all right? Eyes closed. Ready? Ready? Go ahead. See? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these feelers, dude. And I'm a feeler guy. This. Come on, dude. Do you think it'll ever come back? Who knows? I mean, maybe once COVID's over, maybe once the ports get under control. Maybe. Maybe. But maybe the damage is already done. You heard Nacho mention maybe once the ports are under control. Well, as of right now, there is a supply chain crisis affecting commerce in the U.S. At places like the port of Long Beach in Los Angeles, there are millions upon millions of shipments of products on these shipping containers backed up. Issues in the supply chain extend all the way down to a shortage of truck drivers. It also doesn't help that the economy is roaring back and demand for goods is higher than it's ever been. So, it's the same situation across all the discount retailers. We're still going to go check out Burlington's, see what we can muster up, hopefully we can find something. But just an FYI, it's looking bleak out here, but we still gotta go check it out. So there's a tad bit more life at Burlington's, all right? Not a whole lot, but a tad, all right? We got the Jerry Stockhouses, the Lowe's, the Spaghetti's, and that University Red. This is actually, actually isn't a bad looking shoe. It looks like they're 40 bucks though, which is a little too much for Felix. But these are dope. This is a classic, classic sneaker. So, hey, maybe things are looking up, who knows? But this is the best thing we found out here, in my opinion. The runner-up is going to be the Pro Models. A lot of people like the lows, you know, the superstar lows, but the Pro Models are just as cool. I'd rock them if I got them at a good price. I don't know about you, but I think they're pretty cool. But that's it. What's going on? We're going to find out. Yo, Pete the Fit, though. He's got the Tommy Pickles, Chucky, the Rocco's Modern Life, the Ren and Stimpy. Damn, huh? Hey, it might be upsetting, and it might be a sad sight. You know, when you come to Burlington, we don't, we can't find sneakers, but we're still having a fun time. Isn't that right, Nacho? Hell yeah. We even got our brother, Elliot. Dooms, say what's up. Howdy. <laughs> He's so, here with the howdy. Despite all the, um, the lack of heat at Burlington, Ross, and all the discount retailers right now. Sick we're still finding a way to have a good time. Uh, and that's what's most important. Right? I, I like it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, give it a like. Boom. <laughs> Yo, stop. Listen. Boom. You know what it is. Plato's Closet. Let's go see what we can find. I haven't been here in a hot minute. So, we'll see. Maybe some good, maybe garbage. But we're gonna find out. So it was super loud inside this Play-Dohs. They had the music on super loud, but these are the Nike Air Bonafide. One of the ugliest sneakers that Nike's ever designed. That's basically all Nacho is saying. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of great stuff in here, but we did find uh, these Nike Air Bonafides. Disgusting sneaker. And we did find these Jordan 13s. Uh, these are the Jordan 13 Lakers. As you can see on the bottom, they have that yellow. They got that Lakers, I guess gold, Lakers purple and gold. Um, classic sneaker. We haven't done a history video on this yet, but we're going to do it soon. 
Um, it's got this super cool holographic uh, window. Just a classic sneaker all around. Jordan 13's Lakers. So I want you folks to know that we are out here trying to make these Ross videos. But let me tell you, it is slim pickings. Like, we're in dire straits. Look at this. This is what's hot out here, bro. I don't even know what this is. You don't even know what this is. It's rough times, you know what I mean? Something's going on out here, you know what I mean? And uh, we're trying to give you guys some content, but it's looking rough. We might have to make some changes. The old school, the Elysees. What are those? Elysee, man. This was big in like the 80s and stuff like that. They're big over there on, uh, I think in like Europe and Australia and things like that. These are dope. I really like their clothes. Their sneakers, not so much. They brought out a pair of slides that I really like, but I'm assuming these are probably like the closeouts when they pick these up. And Pretty dope though, huh? How about the Gary V's? Are those the Gary V's? <laughs> those are the Gary V's. Oh. That's what we got. This yeah. is the 004s, I think. Well, Gary's oh. out here. Look at it. You know what I mean? Everywhere we turn. Big Gary, you know what I mean? Tells you to hunker down and uh, sell some things. How about the Drake's? Hmm? <laughs> these kind of do look like those Drake shoes that Nike brought out, huh? Yeah. I forgot the name of the model, but these are definitely jailhouse joints right here. <laughs> these are cool. I quite like that. You like them? Yeah. Adidas Gazelle, classic. This is a classic David sneaker. Uh, our big nacho sneaker, as y'all know me by. But these are nice, dude, and they're brand new. I love the Gazelles. Yeah, we gotta do a history video. If these were a size 11, they'd become home on me. Especially that colorway. What do you think? Super nice. They're super nice, huh? Good condition, too. These are tight. I've always liked the bottoms of these. These are the, and the Jason Kids. I like the, like the, like it almost looks like you're being hypnotized. New balances. I think these are what, the 996s? Oh no, the 696. Basic, you know? New balance making a, a big run right now in 2021, so get you a affordable pair. Heavily worn Jordan ones. I don't even know if they're authentic, but they're kind of a cool colorway. They got the gum bottoms, but you see that notorious creasing right there on the new bucks. Oh wow! But yeah, they stuffed them with something, to make them sharper. Yeah. But maybe I'd look more into these if they weren't so worn out. But we're getting warm, you know. Some, some for the fans out here. This video is sponsored by Hefe Lux. More than eight years have passed since boost return technology hit the market. And let's be real guys, it's one of the most comfortable, if not the most comfortable cushioning technology available today. We all know quality control has been an issue for some brands lately. And along with QC going down, most modern releases come with a default flimsy insole. If you're anything like me, Comfortability is the deal breaker when it comes to the sneakers I want to wear for the day. No matter how dope a sneaker is in my collection, I'll literally avoid wearing it if it's not comfortable. That was of course before I tried Hefe Lux, literally boost technology in any sneakers you own. Grab yourself a pair and cure yourself of the anxieties around wearing your uncomfortable Jordan 1s for long periods at a time. Go to hefelux.com and don't forget to use the promo code Nacho at checkout for a 15% discount on us. All right, guys, back to the video. The A6 Cagnanos, I'm gonna say seven. I'm not a Roman, so I don't know how to read Roman numerals. So don't come at me. Seven. Uh, seven. Anyway, these look kind of cool. A little beat, look like they'll crumble. But imagine these when they was brand new though. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put a little graphic here, but Gucci just came out with a, uh, Gucci, my bad, a Louis Vuitton, I think. I look at one of them. It, 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 no, it's a, yeah, it's a, it, nice kicks posted it. It's a, I think it's a Balenciaga. Try it. Yeah, it's a Balenciaga and they just ripped this off. So yeah. It's kind of whack, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, A6, baby. You know what it is. Which is going to fit you, though? Let me see. Nah, I ain't going to fit. Brand? No. <laughs> <laughs> now you, this ain't you? Nah. Darker? That ain't me, man. That ain't you? Reebok. Come on, now. Come on, bro. Can't do it. Well, I love Reebok, by the way. We do. Hey, the, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is this? This looks like maybe it could be a big boy size. Oh, it's a 2XL. That's actually kind of nice. Black tag. What do you think? Uh, well, aren't you a 3X? <sighs> you ain't got to say it like that. <laughs> I like it though, it's nice. You want to get it? Nah. New Balance 7. I mean, five seven fours. 
classic, classic silhouette. It even says it right there on the tag. Classic. Right? Indestructible. Indestructible. Mando in the collection. I prefer the gray pairs, but you gotta have one of these. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you don't even mess with New Balance. It's Mando. Don't even call yourself a sneakerhead if you don't have a pair. In my opinion. So, nothing too crazy. They got the infamous Roshi runs with the infrared. These guys right here was big like, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe. Everybody had a pair of these. And then the NMD came out by Adidas. And then what happened? And it became the Roshi run. And now the Roshi run is just left here to die. You think it'll ever come back? Nah, I don't think so. It's too cheap. They have to make it like $29.99 or something, you know what I mean? And then people might jump on it again, but it's just, they don't last very long. Look at the soles already, already pretty worn. Yeah. Yeah, so, but and hey. It's a piece of history, forgotten history. You know I mean? The Roshi Brown. R.I.P. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys had a good time hanging out with us. I know we didn't find anything crazy. And it's been a while since we've done finds videos. And to be honest, it's not as easy as it used to be. Like you saw, um, it was very hard to find sneakers and we went to a lot of stores. I do wanna know what you guys think about these kinds of videos. It's our first time putting one of these out in a while. So just curious to know your thoughts on that. Should we do those uh, more often or should we just stick to the sneakers history stuff or should we do a mix? Um, but anyways, guys, if you made it this far, you're a real one. Really appreciate you sticking around. Again, apologies that we didn't find anything crazy and the video wasn't as entertaining or as educational as most of our stuff. But I really, really do appreciate you sticking around. And with that being said, guys, I am out of here. I hope you have a marvelous rest of your day, morning, night, noon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Peace.